All right, what's up guys? So, I know there's plenty of moto vloggers. Um, I'm not trying to really compete. Kind of use this for my own personal gain. Maybe some people will get some stuff out of it, maybe not. But uh, I guess one thing that'll be a little bit different is I actually live in Japan and I am American living in Japan. So I have a Zoomer, which I just finished up a GY6 swap on and got it back on the road. Um, there's still plenty more I need and want to do, but it's drivable. So what we're going to do this evening is I'm going to head over to a buddy's house because I need to borrow his impact. Um, so when I changed the rear axle, the it didn't seal back up for the gasket. So I'm going to pull it back apart, uh, put some RTV on it, and put it back together. Um, I do have a leak, so I got some fluid earlier and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't take it to the scooter shop. Sorry, I kind of just went right after work. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit of a Honda lover. I have a uh, 1990 CRX SIR, a Beater Damani, which is like a Civic EX kind of. It's based on an EK. Paid 200 bucks for it. It's a piece of junk. Runs, drives great, AC's cold. Uh, I got the Scoopy back over there. So. You'll see a little bit of what it's like to ride. I'm in Okinawa, Japan, so I'm actually on an island. Um, I'm not on mainland Japan. So roads are a little smaller, uh, place a little smaller, it's an island. Um, so this is my Honda Zoomer, GY6 swap. I'm using the Ruxers harness. So let's take a little cruise, see where it's at. I'll try not to bore you guys too much. So maybe I'll edit some stuff out. I don't know, I'm really new at this, so bear with me. If you guys comment, let me know what I did wrong. Uh, I can take some constructive criticism. If you're an asshole, I'll probably just tell you to fuck off. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I got to stop by Autobox and grab some RTV because I have no idea where mine went. Um, Autobox is kind of like, uh, I guess you'd say it's more like a Pet Boys or AutoZone here in Japan. So let's get going. You know, I'm not starting out this vlog very good because I think I forgot and I might be out of gas. No, there should be some in there. Man, this isn't starting out good at all. I just rode yesterday. Actually, I was planning on doing the vlog then, but that one kind of turned out a little crappy. Oh, she's just cold. There we go. All right, a little scary there. Could use some gas, but we're not out. Well, that's not how you start out a vlog at all, is it? I don't, I mean, I've seen some. I know that's not how they start out. I'm sure my neighbors absolutely love this thing. So, scooters here in Okinawa, Japan, I guess really in all Japan, but as far as I know here in Okinawa, are super popular for quite a few reasons. The roads are small, very limited parking, most pay for parking, stuff like that. Traffic is crazy. Very expensive to own a car here. You got to do lots of inspections, road tax, weight tax, all that good stuff. So it's not cheap. Scooters get away with that. Another thing is it's really popular for younger teens and such because you can't get a license until you're 18. And even once you turn 18, you have to go through driver's ed and pay all kinds of money for it. That's expensive. And then you have to buy a car. So with insurance, your JCI, uh, your JCI inspection, if it needs any repairs, your road tax, weight tax, all that stuff, you're, you're looking at quite a hefty fee. And then 
that comes, you have to pay your weight tax every year and JCI on most vehicles every two years. And then you have to pay for parking. In order to register a vehicle, you have to have a parking spot at your place. You have to turn in paperwork to the police station to prove that you have parking spots and you have to give a detailed map and everything. I mean, it's a lot. So, you just get a scooter. I mean, they ride all year. The weather's great, but you come through the rainy season, it can be a bit, a bit of a pain riding a scooter every day to work and school and whatnot, back and forth. And it's pouring down rain. And I mean, we get some pretty massive rainstorms. So you got all that. And also, 50cc scooters, you can ride when you're 16. All you need is a special license, which is fairly easy to get. Of course, your parents have to sign for it and whatnot.
Zoomer, when I first got it, would top out around 50 kilometers per hour. So I did intake, exhaust, CDI, a couple little things. I got it up to about, it was doing a little over, for a little while it was doing a little over 65, like 65-ish. But you also have to count for people don't really drive the speed limit. So, you know, yeah, people say, well, you could have just done variator roll or stuff like that. I'm military, so I don't know if I'll continue to be here forever. So I didn't want to drop a bunch of money into my scooter just to find out I go somewhere else. just 
easier to run into regular run-of-the-mill RTV. I mean it was 1900 yen which is about 1750 close to 18 bucks. I don't know the exact I don't know what the uh, exchange rate is right now. But even $17 that's that's freaking ridiculous for RTV. I mean it's you get that in the States for what like a few bucks? Personally, I don't really care for it because I'm American and I'm from America and I live in Japan. Why do I want to come to Japan and go to a place that's like America? I like to experience the culture. So these local places that are true Japanese places that's that's where I like to go so Okinawa Soba ramen and I love me some good ramen I say that but there's this place right next to Sega which is a big arcade they have the best ramen it's here in American Village but it's a really small place and it's always full of Japanese So the nice thing is, a lot of these places have scooter parking because scooters are so popular. So I'm not on the level of you guys yet as far as walking around, holding my camera, showing you stuff. But I will show you guys a little bit of the inside because those of you who have never been to Japan might be a little bit curious. So I'll take off my helmet um, when I get in the store, I'll film some more and we'll segment it together during editing or something. Alright guys, so I've still got you on my helmet because I don't feel like taking it off just for a short little video. But, so we're in the, we're in the kind of automotive section. Let's see, RTV. TV. Pants. Pants. And wax. Helmet cleaner. Maybe we got something down here. This stuff. Uh, oils and such. We might be getting closer. to ask someone. Bear with me, guys. Let's ask someone. Where'd that guy go? It worked here. Let's 
すみません。はい、あ、これはありますか。えー、あ、シールシール。ガスケットメーカー。あ、はい。Okay, Alright, we found it. I guess it's just expensive in Japan because、uh, this is like 14 bucks. Alright, so you guys can watch me get ripped off now.